Nikia Granberry and I'm the CEO of Mag City Marketing. And today we're gonna go over personal habits of how to manage a successful new business. So I've been running Mag City Marketing for the last two and a half years, and I developed a few habits along the way that really helped me progress and help get to the next level. A lot of these habits come from the book Seven Habits of Highly Effective People um, by Stephen Covey. So I'm gonna refer a few of them and I added a few habits in as well. So the first one that's most important to me is just being proactive, okay? So that means predicting any curveballs or any situations um, that can potentially happen in the future with your business before it even happens. So a lot of times we turn a blind eye to the negatives of our company. We get really excited that we just started, um, that we don't really want to express or, sh or sh shine light on the negatives. So the negatives are what is gonna help you progress and get to the next level. So you wanna predict what potential negatives can come up, how can you be proactive with solving it and fixing it before it even arrives. Um, the next step of being proactive is realizing who's toxic in your business. So sometimes it's hard for us to let people go or fire individuals because we've built such a great relationship with them, but toxic people only make other people more toxic. So being proactive but realizing those negatives of a certain person as well, so that way you can eliminate that potential problem arising um, before it even becomes an actual situation. Um, and then also just being prepared mentally, um, physically, um, proactive as well, just because going into every single day, walking into the office or whether you work at home, but just waking up, you want to make sure that you're prepared of what's going to happen that day. Mentally, um, by just knowing as far as what, what is the structure, what is the game plan of the day, and physically by taking care of yourself. So drinking water, eating a breakfast, um, eating lunch as well. Don't ram yourself into the dirt just because you're on the grind. It's okay to take a step and take a break and being proactive before you move on to your next task of the day, okay? So the next habit I wanna go over is begin with the end in mind. So what are your long-term goals? A lot of times when starting a new business, we tend to make quick, fast decisions because we think it's gonna gain us that quiz quick, fast satisfaction, okay? So you wanna make every decision based off of what is the long-term goal? Is this gonna help propel me to get to the next level as far as my company goals and standards? The next habit I wanna go over is put first things first. So prioritize what should be done now versus what can be held off and done later. It's a common mistake as a new business owner to get very excited over a lot of tasks and a lot of things that we need to accomplish and do in one day, but is surfing the internet looking for new furniture, new office chairs, is that more important than responding back to a client email that was sent over an hour ago? So make sure whenever you write down all of the tasks for the day, prioritize it off of what's important, what needs to be done now versus what can be done later or on a break or when I have downtime. Okay? The next um, habit I want to go over is my favorite is don't ball out. So as a new business owner, as soon as we get that first paycheck, it's very common for us to want to splurge and spend it right away, right? We, we feel like we arrived, we made it, we got the money, let's go. But that's such a common mistake to make because you never know what your business may arrive in the next few weeks, months, or year. You, there's no possible way you can predict all of your business's expenses before you even get started, right? So what I like to do is for my first year of business, I paid myself my break even, which means I paid myself exactly what I needed to have to survive, pay my rent, pay my expenses. Um, I never really balled out until after a year when I was seeing that constant profit flowing into my account. The next habit I wanna go over is think win-win. So whenever we start new businesses, we gain new clients, you know, where we get really excited, where we start to become a yes man. We start taking on every single thing. And that's okay just to get the ball rolling, but you wanna look at each agreement. Is this personally satisfying myself and them as well? If it's just benefiting them and it's not really benefiting you, then it's okay to say no deal. It's okay to not take on that project or that task. Also, you wanna make sure um, moving into creating successful habits that you wanna make sure that you are seeking first to understand before reacting. This is very common among CEOs. You wanna make sure that you are listening to your employees, you're listening to your clients, and you're listening to your customers before giving your input or your thought. That way you can have a way better um, gauge of analyzing the situation and giving the problems to, or the solutions to the problems that you may arrive. And the last, habit I wanna go over is time now versus time later. So you have to understand that starting a new business, this is the beginning phase 
of a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of long weekends, a lot of round the clock, paying attention, very detail oriented to every aspect of your business. Okay. So this doesn't mean just become, but just because you're a business owner, you have unlimited freedom to just do whatever you want. And you start to get executive itis. This means this is a time to put all of your time, effort, and energy in right now in order for it to have, in order for you to have time later. Okay. So make sure you understand that concept. Um, especially if you are coming from a, a corporate lifestyle where it's 40 hours a week, nine to five, being an entrepreneur is that's not going to happen. Um, it's going to, you're looking at 70, 80 hours per week. You're looking at weekends. Um, you're looking at round the clock phone calls all day, every day. So get excited for that. Cause it's definitely coming your way. Just some reminders, um, daily reminders, just to make sure that you're on track for keeping those successful habits. Ask yourself these few questions. Are you on time every single day? Are you the first person to open the doors to your office? Are you the first person on the conference call? Are you the first person responding back to emails? You want to make sure that you are leading by example. And if you're not, are you making excuses for the reason why you're not? Okay. The next question just to ask yourself is, once again, are you prepared going into the office? So are you mentally and physically prepared going in every single day, knowing what obstacles to tackle and how to motivate your team? Are you presenting yourself in a well-groomed manner? Are you coming into the office with sleepiness in your eyes, your hair not done, um, just roll out of bed? Are you coming in presenting yourself? Because of course, we all want to work for someone that we aspire to be like. Are you spending time with your team? Are you spending personal one-on-one -on -one time with each team member of your team? Um, my goal is each week I try to spend between 30 minutes to an hour with every single person on my team. That way I can build that relationship with them to make a more productive workplace. Are you creating a positive environment around you? So are you a person that people come to um, because they want to feed that positivity from you? Or are you a person that you have to go to other people to get positivity from? You should be a person that people want to flock to because you have all the answers and solutions. Even if maybe you're not in a positive state of mind, you have sometimes have to fake it till you make it. Just pretend to be positive because you are the CEO and you are the example of the business. And the last one is, are you leading by example? Okay. So you can't expect your team to perform the way that you want them to if you're not performing as well. So you have to make sure that you're on point with all of your habits just as much as you expect for them to in order to run an overall success, successful business. <laughs>